Hello and welcome to a new video about my temperature controlling thing here. Okay. I Today the goal is actually to make a parameters and make them adjustable and make them store in the EEPROM. Alright, so we have a bunch of parameters and yeah. However, when playing around, I realized some issues. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, here is the main page. Yeah? And if I change to the temperature, you see that the, the temperature of the sensor is still written here. Even if this one is changing, this should not be here simply. Yeah? This 23.18 in this case. We have to delete this. And also this correcting plus 00, zero this also, that it's a relict. Yeah? It's a relict from, from the main page. Yeah? And we have to get rid of this. We have to get rid of this. Uh, so here in temperatures, here the actual temperature name is written. Okay. This I can remove. Here the actual temperature name is written. So I will before I just make a, a print. No, I will just make here. How many spaces do we need? Hmm, switch to one, two, now it should have it should have cleared it. And now I have to set cursor because now I have to go uh this is uh, 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 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and column 1, a row 1. Okay, and LCD dot set cursor. 0 and 3, the last line, I will also so 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So this should, should be sufficient. Okay, now this should work. Uh, let's try to upload. I fixed this little Fix this little thing. Now we should we should not see this this uh, relics of the main page, or if we then the parameter page. This we will do afterwards. Right now it looks now it looks nice. Okay. Okay. Good. Parameter page. Huh? Here's the parameter page. I will also make enough spaces. Here we have to go up to here. Uh, one still missing. This is no longer necessary. Okay. Actually, what I have. You know, it's quite a lot of work. It's quite a lot of work to store something in the EEPROM and so on. So I have written a library. All right. So I'm going to add this library, use install library. It's called parameters book. Here we are. Parameters included. What is this? I don't need this. This I need. Parameters. This parameter handles uh, the EEPROM, right? I just have to say set parameter, get parameter, and I get a long value with two commas, like we always have used now, and that's it. Huh? So inside there, in this parameter, there is an object called parameter, and I will make first thing. Uh, I will make. I will define an offset. Okay. 
EEPROM offset define where do I want to start with the parameters? Uh, offset parameters at which in the middle. Why do why do not want to, to, to make this in the beginning, you know, parameters? Maybe there is later parameters adding. Yeah? Maybe we will add later parameters to add additional function or something like this. Then we need, be, need to be able to extend the list of parameters. The parameters will be stored as long values, so it's 4 bytes per parameter. And it will start at 500. Okay, so... This is the beginning of the parameter area. After the parameter area, I do not want to add anything. Okay. I will now define a pointer to this parameter function. Yeah? So there is this here. Here we have a parameter. Params. This is now a parameter pointer and I will create the parameters in, in the setup. Yeah? I've tried this to create this there, but I show you afterwards why it's not working there. Yeah? Now it's not working. Here's the setup. So here we will say uh, params equals new parameter. And here we have some choices. Yeah? So we need the parameter offset. Okay? Offset parameters. Yeah? Then we need the count of the parameters. And then we need, we also can give parameter names. And that's interesting because I want to give each parameter name so that it's not written there parameter 1, 2. I want to give this a name. Okay? Therefore, therefore, uh, I'm going to add a new, again, a new header file where I blocked all those parameter stuff. I will add their parameter names, I will add their parameter offsets and so on. Add new element. Uh, I will call this param config, parameter configuration. Add it to the left side. Okay, so actually, which parameters do we need? Okay, I will define, uh, I will define some parameters now. Yeah. I want to scale the temperature. Okay, every good controller works with scaled values. So from 0 to 100%. I do not want to have degree in there. Yeah? So the parameters for the, for the BID controller shall be in percent. So I need to scale. Yeah? So I will call it temp scale. This will be the first parameter. So this will be offset 0. Yeah? And at offset 0, we will have 0%. And offset 1, we will have 100%. Okay? This is the parameter block, temperature scale, and it contains two parameters, 0 and 100%. Okay? I will then add here a constant character. Param name, give it a name, yeah. and I will use progmem. Okay, this means this will be stored in program memory, not in 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 variable memory. I do not I do not need to to change this. I want to have this in program memory yeah, because I you know it's a Harvard architecture style. If you don't know exactly what it is, there are separated 
memories for for variables yeah and for program and i want to store this in program memory because maybe i need more space in the in the variable department uh, usually the program depends on the system yeah so i will give this the name t scale zero percent good uh, and the second parameter one i will give the name t scale 100 percent maybe written like that i hope this is not too long too too long uh, we will see because we don't have enough or a lot of space we'll see afterwards and look at uh, and how do how to 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 uh, make now this this array of 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 character arrays yeah looking like this constant character of constant parameter names yeah This is again in ProgMem and I will initialize it Should work huh? Ended with semicolon, and first thing is this, huh? second thing is this. So now we should have an array of two elements. Huh? So, and actually, what I also have to parameter count, huh? and this is two. Huh? Currently, we have two parameters. Good. So, here in the parameter definition or in the parameter uh, call, I have here to give the parameter count uh, and I have to give here the address of these parameter names. Uh, hopefully this is working. Sometimes I got issues with, you know, with pointer on pointer on pointer on pointer and so. Uh, I already got some some issues. However, uh, this should be parameter names. Let's hope this is correct. Uh, what is it? Parameter count is not defined. Well. Let's try, let's try to compile this. Sometimes I already realized it has uh, some issues. No. Ah, of course, it's not defined because I have to include it. Hey, hey. Parameter config, hello, I have to include it. And now, how does it look? Compile, ah, look, now it's looking nice. Ooh, okay. Okay. It's compiling, but it's marking here with red. Why is that? Int, int, ah, it means int. Okay, so I will, I will cast this to long. I have unsigned int. I will cast this. That I get 
This is not really necessary, but however, I get then rid of, of the error message. All right, I get rid of the error message. Also here, unsigned in. And here, I'm going to cast this to uh, const char. Okay, now, I uh, see now the the error indication is gone. Good. Now, now we have parameters. Eh? There is nothing inside now. So in the parameters, I just want to to print it out. So here in the parameter page, or I have to print somewhere something. I also need to know which parameter to print. So I'm going to add a new unsigned. Integer actual parameter. This is zero in the beginning. We will start with zero. So the first parameter and output parameters. Here we are. Uh, what do I want to print out? I want to print out the parameter number. I want to print out the parameter name and the parameter value. Okay, these three things I have to to print. Okay, good. Parameters. That's the lead line. Then we will uh, set cursor zero and one. Go to the next line. And then we will print P and then we are going to print the parameter number and that we will print it exactly like we've done with the temperatures. Where is the temperature? Here. This is good. We we'll use it exactly like that. <laughs> But this will, this is not actual temperature, this is actual parameter. So, and this is smaller than 10, and actual parameter. This we print. And here we want to print the parameter name. Okay. How to get the parameter name? Well, there is a possibility, uh, we have to prepare I'll call it act param name yeah, character and how long shall this be? Yeah. Well there is a string copy inside and I will this param max length par text this is defined inside the inside the uh, library and you know, now we are defining at least at, the, at most these these number of characters are copied. So this is a sufficient sufficient length of the buffer. Okay, and then we get act param value, and here we are going to ask. Uh, here we are going to ask the parameters param params and get parameter okay and now act actual parameter that's the parameter number yeah and now we have to give uh, we have to give the buffer for the parameter name and that's this there are possibilities to also store long values, uh, floating point values and so on. This is correct. This should be correct. Okay. Good. And here we just have to print this. Act param name. Mm -hmm. 
Then we are going to the next line. Now we have in the first line is written parameter, and the second line is written p and the number, and then the parameter name. Yeah? And then we uh, in the next line, 0 and 2, we will print the value. Yeah? So we will print. actual value and now I have to guess uh, because output value where One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Pooh, this is too long. Make this I'm going to delete what's written there. So where are we are? Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, see, 11, ah, let's make it 12, 12 and 2, and which value, the act param value. Okay, and in the third line, I will do exactly like here. So now we should be able, now we should be able to, to see the parameter, uh, at least parameter zero. No, oh, let's try this. Is it compiling? Yes, it's compiled. Uploading. Main page, right? Okay, change to parameter. Scale zero percent. Ooh, T. Where is it? Where is the written T? P zero T. Scale one hundred percent. Okay, minus zero to zero one. Okay. Okay. So I see, I see a text, I see a parameter zero. There is a T, where is the T? <laughs> the T coming from? Nobody knows. Yeah, maybe we'll find out. Good. Good. Let's program that we can scroll through the parameters. So here we have a main menu, menu edit, parameters. Here we we'll make a break and we are going to scroll like here with star and hashtag, like for the temperature sensors, yeah. add it here, so, but here we're not, we will make act, actual parameter, and here we will go not to max temp sensors, we will param parameter count minus one, okay. Smaller parameter count minus one. I think that's it. Oh no, output them. That's a blitzin. A so called blitzin. <laughs> output parameters. Blitzin is 
Austrian for Unsinn, uh, nonsense. Uh. Okay, this should already do the trick. Now, ooh, I have not shown the there. I just copied this 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 part from the temperature, and we are adding or lowering the actual parameter. That's it. Yeah. Always forget to. Okay, let's switch to parameter and see. Okay. I can scroll through parameter one and one and two, but all the parameters are the same. Mm -hmm. So I can watch the parameters now. <laughs> I can watch the parameters. Where is this T coming from? Huh? Zero, one, two, three, four. I'll write it here. Let's see if there's still a T. I've changed it here to 1,1. One, one. Where's this T coming from? Hmm. Changed the wrong, changed the wrong code. <laughs> now I should have, I should remember. Four. Yeah, I want to change this one. Where's this T coming from? Huh? Where's this T? Is there somewhere T? Uh, T scale, of course, temperature scale. That's it. Hey, hey, hello. Yeah. Think, Heinz. I'll make it like this. It's the name of the parameter. <laughs> I only expect it's scale. Yeah. Now, this when you do not remember what you have programmed, it's a little bit. But actually, it's working. Okay. And now we want to change the parameters. Also, we want to change it. Yeah. <coughs> So change it. Uh, how to change it? We will do it exactly like here. If we are, if we press the button D, use D again, yeah, we're going to change this. Yeah. Menu position now is param edit. Menu items. Here and this will be eleven. Okay. Param edit. Uh, I have to have a new a new parameter value. Yeah. I will simply use the input value, why not? Yeah. Input value equals zero. Yeah. I will Make it like that. Zero and three. Where have I written this? Zero and three. Here. No. Parameter actual. This I will copy. And here write new value. Okay. Ah. Uh, and here I will make a 
output input value output input value yeah, add 10 no where was this 12 or where where have I printed out the temperature the, the, the parameter value 12 and 2 yeah, so I'll use 12 and 3 this time and uh, input value this I forget now I should see uh, if I press D, I will, I'm going to change to parameter edit and in line number three, I will print empty value and wait for input. Okay. And here, actually what I can do is I can, I add here a new case, menu, parameter, break. And I will copy this whole switch. I know from, from menu edit, I will copy this switch. Yeah. Because actually I, I have to do exactly the same. Yeah. Input value, output, input value, but not at 12, 0. I will use it at 12, 3. Yeah. And here, if I press D, I have to store the parameter, yeah. How to do this? Param, params, set parameter, parameter number, actual parameter, and value, input value. Okay, and then here I will do output parameters. And new menu position is menu parameters. Semicolon. Whew, this was fast. If this is working now. But the parameter edit, I have to do exactly the same. Just print it to another position. Yeah. And now I should be able to change the parameter values. Mario. Mario. Let's see. Upload. Upload. Okay, we're here. Ah. Past. Zero percent. I want to change this. Enter. Ooh, right! And where I want to have 0%, I say minus 10 degree. 10? Alright. Minus. Enter. Ooh, and it's stored! Minus 10. Yeah. Change to the next parameter. 100%. Where I want to put 100%? Uh, let's say 60. Enter. And it's stored. Ah, but now, oh, look what I've done here. What I've done here. Uh, this is not 100% accurate. Huh? This was because my debugging forced. Uh, so, output parameters. Here we have it. Here I want to print it at 4, of course. This is... See, small error, yeah? just because I was not capable enough to, 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 to think about what I'm doing, yeah? small error still causes confusion. <sighs> what else to do, right? Winter, the weather is not that great today, so I'm sitting here and program this stuff. Okay, parameter, parameter zero, and see! It's still minus 10. It's stored. Yeah? It's stored in the EEPROM even after downloading the code now. Okay, so now we will add, I will add, going to add some parameters yeah? where I think this should be sufficient. Yeah? We have seen this with two parameters now. I will add some, some parameters more. Should be 
should work in. All right. Okay, so now I added some parameters. Let's see if I can access them. Scale, zero, uh, mean a minus 10 degree, plus 60 degree. Maximum temperature on. This is, you know, I want to have a security level that there is no heating if, if it's something gets too hot. Uh, so the maximum temperature on, I will set to uh, 65 degree, then nobody's getting hurt. Yeah. The next parameter is the maximum temperature off. You know, if we're going above 65 degree, we will turn on. And if we are dropping, it's some sort of hysteresis. If we are dropping, dropping below, let's say 62.5, yeah, then we will turn this, then we will like allow again to heat. Okay. Then this is the two point controller. Yeah. This is the two point controller. Where we want to start to heat, yeah? I would say if we are below, I don't know, 5%, minus 5%. If the actual temperature is minus, is 5% below the set point, we will start to heat. Yeah? Where we want to turn the heat off, if we are at minus 1, I would say. Okay? So these are actually already parameters for a controller. This is working nice. Cooling on. Here I will make it symmetrical. So if we are 5% above the desired temperature, we will turn on cooling. And if we are only 1% above the desired temperature, we will turn off cooling again. So uh, this is some sort of standard parameter. Now here, BID parameters, KP. I'll simply set it to something now too. Then TN I will set to 20, very conservative. Uh, then KD I will set to zero. Uh, I don't want to have a, a differential part. This T1 I will set to one second. Why not? Uh, BR, permanent statistics, I will set to zero. These are parameters. Offset is also zero, permanent statism, if we are not using it. Anti-wind-up, uh, we will not use anti-wind-up, it's zero in this case. And dead zone, I want, do not want to have a dead zone on my BAD controller. Okay, so now we have 16 parameters, we can scroll through, and we have adjusted some of them. You see, I already prepared some parameters for a BRD controller and so on, and we don't have even talked about controllers. Yeah, I have a library for that, and these parameters fits to my library. Okay, but however, next time we will first do the switching controller. Yeah? So we will use a limit. Yeah? We will check if we can control or if we. Yeah. simply make this switching controller. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.